Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and in today's video, we will be trying once again to catch Okie Doki. So I kind of messed up last time. I think I'm gonna remove the Rocky Helmet for now to make this just a teeny bit more easier. So in the last episode, we caught the monkey, and now we're gonna catch the... What I think looks like a kitty cat, but I know it's probably intended to be a dog because the name has doggy in it, like doggy. So, I don't know. I don't care what animal it resembles, I'm gonna catch it. Yeah, okie doggy. Probably intended to be like a dog, but I mean, it looks kind of like a cat. I mean, like... A Tongue hanging out is normal for a cat? No, it's it's intended to look like a dog. I I know it now, but I don't know, it just for some reason just looks like a cat to me somehow. <laughs> so we're gonna catch this Pokemon. Um let's do quick ball first. See if we get lucky. If not, we're just gonna gonna do nothing but ultra balls. Okay, yeah, we're doing just ultra balls. Okie dokie decided they do not want to be stuck inside a quick ball. They want to go ultra, so we're gonna do that for them. <laughs> ultra ball all the way. I mean, I do have master balls because I have this other Pokemon trainer. Sometimes I have them. I just play the replay the story mode for Master Balls, but I kind of just want to use those for like shinies if I ever come across any, rather than legendaries. So yeah, I like to use my Master Balls for extreme emergencies only. So I'm gonna use Ultra Ball because at least with this I could save beforehand. Whoa. That was easier than my last attempt. Wow. Nice. So we got Okie Dogie. After all its muscles were... What? <laughs> After all its muscles were stimulated by the toxic chain around its neck? Okie Dogie... Wait, what? After all its muscles were stimulated by the toxic... It has a toxic chain around its neck. No wonder it was so mean to Ogre Pond. It's suffering. The poor thing has a poison, uh, a toxic chain around its neck. Someone remove that around this, that Pokemon's neck. The poor thing. But, uh, Okie Dokie transformed and gained a powerful physique. Does the chain hurt? I hope not. I thought it was just a scarf. <laughs> Oh my. Well, let's add to the party. Oh, huh, so that's a poisonous... I mean, a toxic chain? I don't... I... Oh my. So well, let's see... Hey! I saw that Gligar try and come over to me. Not cool. So let's go all the way back to the center of the map. All the way back to Mizui Town, where it's safe, because Gligar's... Those bat Pokemon kept flying up to me. And that's so not cool. I don't want to enter battle. With Pokemon, I don't want to battle. So let's see Okie Dokie. They're cute. Kinda. I mean, they bullied my Ogre Pond, so I don't know why I'm even catching these Pokemon to start with. But, I mean, I could raise them, right? I'm sure. Oh! Intimidating. <laughs> Why are they somewhat cute? Despite being bullies. Aww. They don't seem to be in pain. I don't know if the toxic chain was at first. And that's how they got so strong? I don't know. I'd love for the anime to introduce these legendaries so I see how they behave even more, but they don't seem in pain, so... I don't know. Wait, what type is it? Oh, poison type. So, Toxic Chain probably doesn't bother it at all if it's a poison type Pokemon. Okay. 
I was worried. Oh, but look at the cool paw pads on their balls. I don't know. This just looks like a huge kitty cat to me. <laughs> Even if it's meant to be, like, viewed as a dog. So we're at Mizui Town. And we got one more of the Loyal Three to catch. If you want to know how to catch the monkey, monkey dory, just watch my previous episode. I provided a link to the episodes in the comment section. So it's basically the episode before this one that I am um, showing how to catch the monkey. So if you want to catch that, watch that episode. Link in both the description and the comments. And um, now we're gonna go after the final one. The one I'm really excited about. The one that I actually like most out of the Loyal Three. I should probably stop calling them the Not-So-Loyal Three. They're my Pokemon now, so I need to treat them well. Because if I'm mean to them when I expect them to be raised into kind Pokemon. I need to be, be uh, pretty kind to these Pokemon in return, so I'm not gonna be calling them the not so loyal three anymore. Or at least I'll try. So yeah, we're about to catch the legendary bird. So um, I think they're over at Omni Mountain. I think. So let's take a look. I know where it is, but let's just Let's see what happens if we just go straight ahead. I, I wonder, if we just keep going straight ahead, will we come across it? I think we will, so let's just see what happens. Just keep climbing, Kuridon. You got this. You got this, buddy. Oh. Come on, Crydon, don't slide off the cliff you're climbing. That would be very bad. I mean, I know you have wings and you can fly, but still. Okay, so... I think if we just climb up here, maybe? I'm still trying to figure out how to cross paths with uh, our bird. Uh, so lots of climbing. Uh, cried on. What are you doing? Just, just climb, buddy. Just climb. Only small. Okay. Onai Mountain. Don't know if it's Oni Mountain or Onai Mountain. So it's supposed to be somewhere around here. Somewheres. Thought it would. Hmm. Let's see. Where are you, bird? Uh, still trying to track the Pokemon. Ugh. I don't know, would they even be this high up? I myself am not sure. And no, this is around the area they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be around here somewhere. Somewheres. Oh, what are you doing, Crydon? Don't fall off the cliff. That is just not allowed. Thought this would be simple. Uh, why are you sliding down? That's not even making any sense. You could climb. I didn't feed you that Herba Mystica with Arvin for nothing. Oh, maybe we'll be able to spot where on earth that bird is from up here. Or not? Wow, this is maybe the 
one of the highest spots. You could seriously see the whole map. Why can't I find my bird? I need to find my bird. Um, let me look at the map again. Might have got off course. This is where Kitokami Hall is. Um. Mm. Mm. Let's try that again. Maybe it's over here. Let's go to Kitakami Hall. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to figure this out myself. I'm not that familiar with the map. Okay, so we're at Kitakami Hall. That's where I am on the map. And I decided to mark around here. I think this is the right destination, actually. I just got it mixed up last time. I'm sorry. So let's go over here. Uh, maybe we should keep going. Climb a little. They're a bird, so they're probably up high. Let's fly this way, and they are right there. I'm sorry, I forgot where I was from before, but yes, this is where they are. Right down here. See? What did I tell you? So this is where the final of the Loyal Three is. So, this is great. Just one more and I'll have them all. Hi. Oh, Crydon's all happy too. Look at him. Either that or I'm driving him crazy, spinning him around so much. But we finally found the final of the loyal three. Oh no. Now I'm gonna almost... It's gonna be a hard to break the bad habit of calling them the not-so-loyal three. That just became their nickname. But we we can't be treating them like that if they're gonna be our Pokemon. This one is beautiful. Oh, It's not aggressive. It seemed happy when I approached. Maybe the Pokemon, they just need a second chance at life. So I'm gonna give them that chance. Each of the three. And then I'm gonna force the three to spend a picnic with Ogre Pond so could so they could make up with them. Yippee yip yip. I should just name this bird Yippee. <laughs> Cause it likes to say yip and yippee. That should be a nickname Yippee. That should be canon. Plus that name is just hard to pronounce. Yippee would be a whole lot better. So I saved beforehand in case if the worst happens. We should be able to do Brick Break one more time and then we'll just focus on throwing Pokeballs. See what happens. Oh, wait, no, no. No throwing balls yet. Just one more Brick Break should do. Come on, Crydon. <gasps> no! Okay, yeah, that... Was a complete disaster. Let's try that again. That was not good at all in any way. Oh my. So yeah, we're gonna have to try that again. How annoying. I thought Break Break would be okay. It must have critical hit or something. It shouldn't have done that much damage. <laughs> Seeing how much it did the first time I attacked using that move. Well, let's try again. See what happens. We'll just have to figure out what moves are a bit too much against this Pokemon. Because even legendaries could only take so much damage until they're done. Okay, let's try this again. If we could just break break twice, that would be amazing. 
I'm pretty sure the last time it just a critical hit. Huh? All three are poised. Are all three poison Pokemon? Well, no wonder. They were pretty toxic to Ogre Pawn. <laughs> I would not be surprised if they're all poison types. They are! It's so funny! Okay, let's do another Brick Break. Hopefully it does not critical hit. I should be able to do Brick Break one more time as long as it's not a critical hit. Let's, let's try there. It ought to work. Cried on hanging there, buddy. You're doing good. Just do not critical hit or I'm gonna be upset with you, sandwich buddy. <gasps> I don't under Hmm. I'm gonna try relying on Ogre Pawn instead, cause Crydon is just not working in sync with me. They just want to defeat this Pokemon. I want it to be as HP as low as it could get, but I don't know. Crydon doesn't want to do that. He just wants to defeat the Pokey. So maybe Ogre Pond will understand what I want to do in the battle, and we could actually do it. Let's give it a try. It's worth a try. So, switching to Ogre Pond here. Let's try that again. Sorry I have to re-challenge you so much, but it's just... This needs to be done perfectly. Because <laughs> the more damage we do, the weaker the Pokemon will be and the easier it will be to catch. Let's see how much this does. Okay, perfect. Shouldn't get defeated with a grass type move since it's a flying type. Pretty sure this would have to be... Even if this bird's a poison type, it's probably also a flying type, I would imagine. Okay, I'm thinking that should be good. I really can't get this Pokemon down in the red even if I wanted to. So this will just have to work. Look at Pond's so cute. Alright, let's see, um... Let's try Quick Bolt starting off. Usually that doesn't work. So, if that doesn't work, yeah, we'll have to use a Ultra Ball, which is what's gonna happen now, because our Yippee Bird broke out of its- What? They heal? Okay, this is gonna be the biggest pain of the Loyal 3. This one's being a loyal- being a loyal pain. That's what I gotta say. A loyal pain. Just not- Letting their HP stay down for me. Oh my, that was way too close. Ah, uh, they keep healing themselves. This one's gonna be hard. <laughs> I do not like how this is going. This one actually heals themselves. Oh, that was way too close. This is annoying! Ah. This is extremely annoying. What, should I do nothing but throw Pokeballs no matter how the HP is? This is super annoying. Extremely. So, how many Ultra Balls do we even have? Let's just take a look. We have about 75. Seven, even if it takes me 75 Ultra Ball throws, I am determined to catch this bird Pokemon. Even if they're being a loyal pain instead of a loyal three. 
Uh, I hate this one. It's actually healing itself a lot. It's so annoying. But we're still gonna catch you whether you like it or not. This raid, I'm just gonna keep throwing Pokeballs like a madman, basically. I'm not gonna trouble myself over their health gauge anymore, so let's just keep throwing Pokeballs and see what happens. See if we get lucky. Oh wow. Looks like I really didn't have to mess with the health bar even if I wanted to. So if there's any Pokemon trainers with access to the DLC who is watching this, take notes. It does not matter if you beat their health gauge down. Just just throw Ultra Balls like a crazy person and make sure to save before the fight. It's possible. I got it really early on in the fight when I just started throwing Pokeballs like crazy. So just use a bunch of Ultra Balls and you'll get them. And if you end up wasting a bunch, just... Close out of the game and try again, I, I don't know, but this worked for me. So this is Fez and DPD. Fez and DPD owes its beautiful looks and lovely voice to the toxic stimulants and, and manting from the chain wrapped around its body. I guess the chain, the toxic chain doesn't actually hurt the Pokemon. They just boost their strength and abilities. I see. That's interesting. I want to name it Yippee, <laughs> but I don't know if I should. But I, if I were to be forced to nickname this Pokemon, I'd name them Yippee. For sure. We caught all three of the loyal three. So in the next episode, I'm going to force the loyal three to get along with Ogre Pond. I'm gonna have them all just be forced to have a picnic together. So if you want to see that, I would recommend um, watching the next episode. It's gonna get wild. Um, where would be a perfect spot for this though? Let's just go back to Mizui Town. There's plenty of vast fields around the village. I'm gonna find the perfect picnic spot to do this video. It'll be cool. Because these three have been bullying Ogre Pond back in the day. And, um, I... Even when they got resurrected, they wouldn't stop. They kept bullying my poor baby Ogre Pond, so... Now that I caught them, I'm going to teach and raise them to be kind Pokemon, and I want to start off by having them have a picnic with Ogre Pond. They're all gonna make up. They're all gonna be buddies. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for the next Pokemon Teal of the Teal Mask DLC video. I do a lot of these playthroughs. So thanks for watching. I hope this was both enjoyable and useful if you were interested in how and where to catch some of these Pokemon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.